February is National Stout Month, and several breweries in Northeast Ohio are celebrating. In this News 5 original, Meg Shaw continues showcasing all things Buckeye Belt with a visit to an original player in the craft beer industry. In the heart of Ohio City is the famous Great Lakes Brewing Company. I sat down with their CEO recently to talk about what it's going to take for their company to stay relevant in the industry after all these years. It's a love affair Americans can't seem to get enough of. A cold craft beer. Glasses are becoming more flavorful and exciting with each passing year. People are exploring and trying new styles and figuring out what suits them. The industry brought in $27 billion in 2018. Ohio specifically, $3.2 billion. And while some companies are just getting on their feet, the Great Lakes Brewing Company is deepening their 32-year-old roots in the CLE. This company, the brand DNA is solid. The company hasn't only emerged as a leader in the Buckeye State, they're ranked 20th in the entire nation, according to the Brewers Association. Look, the beer business is a fun business, but it's also very competitive, so I think we have to have a competitive edge. Classics like Dortmunder and Edmund Fitzgerald can be found year-round, but the company's new CEO, Mark King, says times are changing. You don't want to become your grandfather's brand. You know, brands do have a certain life cycle, and being 32 years old, we're one of the older breweries on the block out here. So he's marking 2020 as a year of change and chance. Maintaining our DNA and what the core of this business and what we've built is key, but we also believe that we can still be very innovative and go out there and create occasions that make us, you know, more attractive to a young adult consumer. And what's attractive to young consumers is convenience. So starting next month, for the first time ever, Great Lakes will be on the shelves at your local stores in a can. It's a big deal in terms of production, staffing, but it's a big commitment that the company is making to drive this business forward in the future. We think that we can get this engine uh, driving forward again in a pretty strong way. King says this will also help keep the brewery relevant in such a crowded field. You need to only look at the, the newspaper every week and see what retailers like Giant Eagle, Heinen's um, and Kroger are putting on ad and it's always craft beer in cans and so we want to participate for those beer occasions. The pub brewer for Great Lakes, Steve Foreman, says they're also working on a new beer lineup for 2020. We're starting to experiment. You need to adapt to the market, but you want to make things that people want. Steps they're taking to not only stay in the game, but continue to win it. You just got to pick your, pick your uh, opportunities and make sure they're right, and when you get into them, drive really hard. And as we told you earlier this month, the brew pub in Ohio City is undergoing some major renovations. The CEO says when it's complete, you can expect a beer hall as well as a fine dining area. They expect to be finished with that later this month. To learn more about the company, just head to the As Seen On section on our News 5 app. For News 5, I'm Meg Shaw.